Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video of this series, we learned what is cloud native and how it transforms the way applications are developed, deployed and scaled in today's digital world. But what all different cloud native technologies are there? Who maintains and supports them? Who certifies them? That's our topic for today. So without any further delay, let's get started. In the early 2000s, Google developed Borg for its internal cluster management. In 2014, Google decided to open source this project recognizing the potential of Borg and need for an industry-wide initiative. But they needed a vendor-neutral organization that operates independently of any vendor or company which can establish trust and credibility within the industry. For that, Google partnered with the Linux Foundation to establish an organization to support and advance the adoption of cloud-native technologies. And that organization name is CNCF, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Then, Google rewrote Borg in Go programming language and renamed it to Kubernetes and donated it to CNCF as an open source project in 2015. This is the CNCF's first project. Then, Kubernetes quickly gained traction and became the de facto standard for container orchestration. Just that you know, I made a playlist on Kubernetes if you want to learn Kubernetes in detail with complete hands-on. Please check it out. Later, different projects like Prometheus, FluentD, Linkerd, CodeDNS and others joined CNCF. Today, CNCF is hosting an impressive 162 projects under its umbrella with 205k contributors who have collectively made 13 million contributions. These contributions come from individuals and organizations across 189 countries making it a truly global and collaborative community. CNCF's mission is to make cloud native computing ubiquitous means to ensure that cloud native computing becomes widely adopted and accessible across various industries and organizations. It achieves this by defining common standards and specifications for cloud native technologies. This helps to ensure interoperability and portability across different cloud platforms and tools enabling users to avoid vendor lock-in, meaning they can run on any cloud. CNCF also conducts conferences in various locations worldwide, featuring presentations, technical sessions, workshops and networking opportunities for attendees. CNCF held its first annual flagship conference in 2015, bringing together cloud-native enthusiasts and industry experts to share knowledge, experiences and best practices and promote the adoption and awareness of cloud-native technologies. CNCF also provides educational resources and training and events to help individuals and organizations to understand and adopt cloud-native practices. It also advocates for the benefits of cloud-native technologies and promotes their use in various industries. CNCF aims to expand cloud-native ecosystem by attracting new projects, contributors and adopters. It actively engages with the community, encouraging participation and innovation to further enhance the ecosystem. Over the years, CNCF has witnessed tremendous growth and has become a leading force in driving the adoption of cloud-native technologies across industries. Its efforts have significantly influenced the way applications are built, deployed and managed in modern computing environments. With all these in place, the CNCF's project started increasing. Then, CNCF decided to introduce the concept of project maturity level to ensure the quality, sustainability, community support and adherence to the CNCF's principles of the projects. When a project is first accepted into the CNCF, it enters the sandbox phase. This is the starting point for new projects where they have the opportunity to experiment, develop and showcase their ideas within the CNCF community. 
projects in the sandbox phase are still in the early stages and may not have reached a stable release. Once a project has matured and demonstrated a certain level of stability and community engagement, it may move to the incubating phase. In this phase, projects receive additional support and mentorship from the CNCF community. They work towards reaching specific milestones such as growing their user base, expanding their contributor community and improving the project's maturity. Projects in the incubating phase are expected to follow the CNCF's governance guidelines and actively engage with the community. They must be in production usage by at least three companies and maintain a healthy team that approves and accepts a healthy flow of contributions that include new features from the community. Once a project has achieved a high level of maturity, adoption and sustainability, it can graduate from the incubating phase. Graduated projects are considered mature and have proven their value in the cloud native ecosystem. They continue to be supported by the CNCF but operate with more independence. Graduation is the final phase for a CNCF project indicating that it has met the criteria for becoming a mature and self-sustaining project within the CNCF ecosystem. Projects that have graduated have proven their stability, scalability and adoption in real-world scenarios. Overall, the flow of a CNCF project from starting to graduation involves progressive stages of growth, maturity and community involvement. This process ensures that Projects meet certain standards and have a solid foundation to thrive within the cloud native ecosystem. But who certifies or promotes these projects? Throughout the entire process, projects are guided by the CNCF's Technical Oversight Committee, in short TOC, which oversees the project's development, quality and adherence to CNCF's principles before recommending them for promotion. CNCF is a non-profit organization that relies on funding to sustain its operations. CNCF receives financial support through corporate sponsorships from organizations that believes in the mission of the foundation. Corporate sponsors contribute funds at different sponsorships levels like platinum, gold, silver, etc. and receives benefits such as brand visibility, participation in the events and influence on the cloud native ecosystem's direction. CNCF also accepts individual donations from the supporters who want to contribute to the foundation's work. These donations help support the growth of the CNCF projects, community initiatives, educational programs and other activities. CNCF membership involves organizations becoming formal members of the foundation. Membership dues contribute to CNCF's funding and grant member organizations certain benefits such as voting rights, participation in working groups and the ability to shape the direction of CNCF projects and initiatives. CNCF organizes conferences and events such as KubeCon plus CloudNativeCon which serve as significant sources of revenue. These events attract attendees, exhibitors and sponsors who contribute financially to support CNCF's initiatives and activities. And as the projects are increasing continuously, CNCF prepared a pictorial representation of all the CNCF's projects which is called Landscape. This graphical representation lists down the projects based on broad categories thus making it easy to visualize and find different projects. The web version of CNCF Landscape can be found at landscape.cncf.io. This web version of the landscape is interactive and the projects are listed as cards. Clicking on any project card quickly gives us all the relevant information about the project details like the website, the GitHub repositories and the commit information and the number of contributors etc. There are also filters available that make it easy to find a project. Projects in large boxes are CNCF hosted open source projects. Projects with light blue background are in incubation phase and the projects with dark blue background are graduated projects. Projects in small white boxes are open source projects. Products in grey boxes are proprietary products. This landscape is developed and maintained by the CNCF community. 
anyone can propose to include their cloud native product to be included in this list by raising a pull request on github to find this landscape even simple all the projects are categorized by different categories i'll make a separate video covering each category explaining in detail where and when we can use it and update the description with the link stay tuned CNCF also created a trail map which offers a step by step approach outlining the fundamental aspects of cloud native transformation it covers the areas such as containerization cicd orchestration observability service proxy networking distributed database streaming and messaging container registry and finally software distribution This trail map ensures that you stay on track and make informed decisions as you navigate the evolving landscape of cloud native technologies. In short, it visually depicts and explains the steps involved in adopting cloud native practices. I'll also make a video on CNCF's trail map in detail covering all these steps. I highly encourage you to explore CNCF projects, attend events and contribute to the community through code contributions, documentation or sharing your experience. I will try my best to teach how to use these technologies on this channel. That's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Pawan Eltapu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.